Hey everyone, welcome back. Apple has just rolled out the fourth developer beta of iOS 26 and it introduces the mix of visual tricks, feature updates, and the return of some long awaited capabilities. This version is especially noteworthy and is expected to form the basis of the next public beta rollout. So, first off, I would like to highlight the liquid glass refinements. Apple has refined the liquid glass interface in Beta 4, making it more translucent than in Beta 3. The updated design brings back some of the visual clarity removed in the previous Beta. Menu bars in apps like Photos, Music, and the App Store are now enhanced translucency, letting more of the background show through. On the lock screen, scrolling through notifications causing the background to darken slightly, improving text readability. And then, I would like to take your attention to the Apple Intelligent Notification Summaries Return. Notification summaries for news and entertainment apps have made a comeback. Apple had removed this feature earlier this year due to issues with inaccurate summarization. Now improved, these AI-generated summaries appear in italics and are tagged with summarized by Apple Intelligence. Upon updating, users will receive a prompt to enable or opt out of summaries by category. And then, I would like to take your attention to the camera app tricks. Apple has refined the swipe gestures in the camera app. Previously, the camera button remained static while the background moved. Now the button moves fluidly in both directions. The camera app icon on the home screen has also been redesigned. And then I would like to talk about brand new CarPlay wallpapers. Beta 4 brings fresh CarPlay wallpapers that complement iOS 26 default theme. Available in colors like blue, green, purple, gray, red and brown. These wallpapers support both light and dark modes. All the CarPlay wallpapers have been removed. And then I would like to take your attention to the Face ID and Passcode interface update. Tapping on the Face ID and Passcode in settings now displays clearer wording and a refresh UI reminding you just to enter the correct device passcode. Next up, I would like to talk about the password app improvements. A new allow contacting websites toggle has been added. With this enabled, the password app can automatically fetch icons and names for supported websites and even let you just know if a website supports passkeys. And then, I would like to take your attention to the weather app location features. A new toggle in the weather app settings enables access to significant locations. And when turned on, this feature allows the app to offer weather updates for places you frequently visit. And then I would like to talk about the reduce loud sounds option. The previous late night mode setting in the sounds and haptics has been renamed to reduce loud sounds. It now includes a clearer explanation. This feature softens harsh audio without sacrificing the detail in quieter sounds. And now, I would like to talk about the call screening enhancements. Under the screen unknown callers option, you will now find expanded settings. You can disable the feature, ask unknown callers to state their purpose or automatically silence them and send them to voicemail. Then, I would like to take your attention to the mail app icon refinement. The mail app icon has been subtly redesigned with minor visual changes that align with the overall design direction of iOS 26. And finally, I would like to talk about iOS 26 dynamic wallpapers. The iOS 26 wallpapers are now dynamic, gradually shifting color throughout the day to match the time and environment, adding a more immersive experience to the iPhone's visual style. iOS 26 Beta 4 is shaping up to be one of the most polished releases so far, introducing meaningful enhancements across design. AI and user experience. Now that you have unlocked these cool features, make the most of them and take them for a spin and I'll catch you up in the next one.